What do you do when everything isn't working out for you and a tornado destroys everything? Take a vacation, of course. Now, we need to clean this farmyard up. Oh, man. Is this going to be a lot of work? Let's get to it. So I actually took a vacation because I was tired of waiting for their insurance adjuster to come out and assess everything. I mean, let's just say he was a little weird. He asked if this head was normally like this. I mean, come on. Really? Does does anything like this look normal? I know, I know. He, he's not a farmer. He doesn't know what he's looking at, but uh, we... We finally, I'm hoping to get the final call today, so, which basically means that I could start cleaning all this up. Oh my goodness. And, uh, this isn't going to be pretty. A lot of this stuff is ruined. We got tree, we got tree limbs all over the place. At least I had a good trip camping, that's for sure. No. All right, I'm hoping the, basically, the assessment should be here today. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Got some bills. Some more bills. Ah, looks like it's here. Let's see what we got here. We regret to inform you that natural causes is not covered under your insurance policy. Only coverage is for crop related coverage. My crops didn't get no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. So, yep. We are on our own here. I am definitely going to have to scrap a lot of this stuff. So, the bad thing is, is. Whew, we're going to have to save what we can and take the Rex to the scrap yard. That ain't good. Nope. That is not good whatsoever. So, looks like we're going to lose a lot of equipment here. Oh, well. Stuff happens. All right, I'm going to call a few trucks in here get them in here and I'm gonna have to get a few cranes and everything because uh, and probably get my chainsaw out and start uh, cutting away here oh man we got a lot of cutting to do We've gotta get all these branches probably have a big old barn fire I'm gonna have to get a crane just so I can lift and straighten some of this stuff out oh man this is gonna be easy and uh, probably a few flatbeds to uh, haul a lot of this stuff away all right so I just got off the phone so it is kind of unusual that the tornado just basically just got me really bad and left everyone else pretty much alone for the most part uh, it must have just touched down right where my house was and then picked up because the squad grant no one else really got affected I don't know how I was the only one affected, but, uh, man, it really did me into a number. The only good thing about this whole ordeal is, being I'm the only one affected, the wrecking company is available to use. If everyone else got affected, and they'd probably have a long lineup. So they should be about here. Hopefully they can help me pick all this stuff up. I'm going to have to just put all these trees in the middle and have a big old barn fire hopefully they can help me get all this the auger wagon it's just sitting up there I mean it it looks like it might be okay I don't know uh, the magnum I don't know I'm gonna that's probably scrapped oh uh, that head yep the head looks like that reel and everything is done for old silage uh, wagon yep done for man 
I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to uh, junk to haul out of here. Well, it's junk now. It was nice at one time. Alright, they just showed up. We got a big cat bulldozer. That should come in handy, I think. Uh, we got a, uh, the Mayberry Heavy Rescue. So, I'm probably gonna have to use this crane to lift a lot of the stuff back right side up. We got another wrecker truck here. I don't know if this will come in handy, but hope might help lift some items, tip them over correctly. Bowdozer will definitely be nice to hopefully flip some of this stuff over the right way. Man, this is going to be a extensive process here. Hopefully we can get this done. Before we get too far, I wanted to take the drone up. Just see the carnage. I mean, why not? You know, these types of things are definitely going to be bad memories, maybe good memories, as long as we pull out of this okay. Look at all that. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, just sickening. At least all my buildings are standing. It's one thing I have a benefit of saying. And I didn't have any cattle. Our steers are still doing great. No, hardly any damage over there. Looks like the planters are messed up. Jeremy's cultivator. That's about it. It hit about right here. The tornado ran from basically the pool on down between the buildings. And everything on the side, long, along the sides of it really wasn't too affected. It just, uh, it just perfect placement of the tornado. All right, time for us to get to work. We have diesel burning up here, so we need to get this all set up. I think I'm going to move the camper and all my vehicles out of the way so they don't get damaged. The diesel, the old Cummins actually made it out okay, so you probably don't see... The one thing you don't see here is I did pick up all the bales by myself. So, obviously, that wasn't going to be coverage in insurance anyways, so that was one thing I did do. So, the bales are gone. Alright, we are going to try to flip over our loader here. The task here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm hoping. Yeah, it's a little bit close to this uh, disc, so hopefully this should work. Alright, so I don't think... It's going to work. I think I'm going to help it out with the bulldozer to get that thing flipped over. So we'll start this old cat up. Got a red bowl in here. We are ready to go now. Back up. Go around this building. Bad thing about a bulldozer is it's slow. It takes a while. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I like going fast. Probably would not recommend doing this at home. We are gonna do the... Ooh, ooh. Got a little bit of the concrete there. Really need to move that engine block one of these days. We're gonna try to flip this old girl over. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. I think it's flipped back over. Oh man, now we gotta drag it. Because I don't want to start it right now because it's flipped over. Oh man, where are we gonna put this? So we gotta move this. Drag that out of the way so we can start pushing all these trees in a big old pile to start a bonfire. Alright, so we got the magnum out of there, so it's going to have to go into the shop. Probably get scrapped or sold. One of the two. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're going to have to make some serious cutbacks. 
So I know this is going to bother a lot of people, but serious cutbacks have to happen. I just can't afford all this equipment with no refund from insurance. So as long as we don't get insurance, we're going to have to make some serious cutbacks. And it, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the pocketbook. It's definitely not going to be purdy. But I think we can manage the farm as long as we make the cutbacks. So two auger wagons gonna have to go you know the the dump beds the trucks probably gonna have to go the Chevy and the International look ruined anyways this poor Chevy right here it's it's not gonna make it sorry it's just not gonna make it that's the way it is we got the Chevy put away I'm gonna try to get this grain cart set down. I don't know if I can do this without damaging it or not. So we're gonna try... Uh, come on! Uh, you can do it. Try to get under this maybe. Yeah, we didn't even hardly budget. Oh, there we go. Oh. I think that's... Oh, oh. Oh. Yep. Not the best movement there. We keep trying here. Alright, so we're gonna move these branches, these tree limbs, somewhere in the middle here. Hopefully. We did get our grain cart moved out. Man, was it a nightmare. So, it is room. Couple pop tires. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's doing good. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get this. Whew. That is not going to be easy. This the silage wagon, I don't think it's going to be hard. I'm just going to push it over to the side here. Moving. Come on. Have to get a little run for it, I guess. Uh, uh, I think it got. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh, there it goes. Finally fell. Now, if we could just get our grain truck over here, looks like we're going to have to pull that backwards. Basically, just pull it out of there. We're going to put a chain to it, yank that thing right back out of this little uh, cubby hole it got put into. Alright, chain this to the axle there. Back up. Keep backing up. Uh, uh. Alright, keep backing up. Make sure we miss that truck. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Alright, I think we are unhooked now. So, alright, that is done. Hoping I could start that up. Ooh, watch out. This is so congested right here. Got stuff everywhere. Gotta get everything into a big old barn fire. Alright, I'm hoping I can push this thing the rest of the way on here. Come on, push. There we go. Get that thing up there. It doesn't really want to go. Come on, come on. I know you got more power than that, bulldozer. Push this thing a little bit further up. Come on. Alright, I think I got it far enough up there. Whew. Alright, I'm trying to get all these branches picked up, pushed over for big old barn fire. Push this over to the pile over here. 
right, put these last few logs on the burn pile before we light this baby up. There we go. Make sure I tie Gina up. I don't want her catching her tail on the fire. There you go, girl. Let me tie you up there. Yeah. Don't want her stepping over the hot ashes or getting her fur on fire, that's for sure. All right, let's start this old baby up here. Let it burn. Yeah, buddy. All right, get that, that all freaking cleared out. All right, so now, oh man, we still have a few more branches around here. Man, this is like the worst freaking pickup ever. All right, we got to pull this header down here. So I'm going to chain this and then just try to pull it directly down. I'll chain this somewhere around here. Still got my present here from Jake. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it's there. Wrapped up nicely. Alright. Alright. Back this old girl up. Yep. 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 They're coming there. Yep. Keep backing it up. Alright. Yep. There we go. Keep backing. And there we have it. I think we got it down now. Oh, man. Actually came out better than what I thought it was going to be. We might be able to salvage this. Get a new reel. Yeah, a whole bunch of twines. We probably have to do a lot of straightening. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll hook it up to try to do it. It might save us a lot of money if we do it that way. Hmm. All right, now we got to get these wagons brought down from here get this trailer flip back over oh man Let's pull this uh, magnum down the road a little bit pull this old girl down there we go just give us some room here that should be far enough right there go now we got to figure out how to get these wagons. I don't know if we lift this trailer up first and try to flip it uh, I don't know got the wiggles on it wiggle 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 back and forth Let's see how we can flip this PJ over all right I think we got it flipped over here I'm gonna have to probably hook it on to I'll get the Cummins over here and try to pull it out of here just so we can have uh, easy access to our auger wagons here with the crane yeah all right I think we got it hooked up oh man that's gonna be a nightmare and a half pulling this thing out come on Cummins Here, uh, 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 uh. bumpy old path right here. I think we got it. All right, I'm gonna flip it around right here. Of course, you see all of our. Uh, if you can see all of our grass we cut down, yeah, we didn't get none of that mowed up. That's probably in Squad's yard, if I had to imagine. Or in somewhere in all that forest over there. Most likely that's where all of our grass ended up at. It is definitely not in Winrose in that farm or in that field. Alright, got that hitched up. The tires actually made it. This trailer didn't even really get uh, bent or bowed or anything. So the trailer might be alright. That's the first, that's for sure. Man, this is like every kid's dream. Diesel, dirt, 
bulldozers, cranes, big horsepower engines. Man, uh, uh, uh. this stuff is what I dreamed of when I was a little boy. All right, so let's figure out how in the heck we're going to start dragging these wagons out of here. Got to hitch them up here somehow and start dragging. Oh, wow. We actually got them down. That, that is actually kind of surprising. They are all bent up, so we're going to have to take them in, have a welder probably straighten them up. That will be expensive. Now, I think we just have this one truck to get off, so we'll try to get this get this grain here picked up I'm gonna try to weasel my way around here push this down there we go push this uh, 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 push this truck right side up I think we got it lower that down oh yeah Ugh. I guess we're gonna pull it sideways. There we go. She's off there. Oh, come on. Come on, old cat. You can do it. There we go. There we go. I think that is everything. Now I'm stuck in between these two pieces of equipment. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 90s thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time this old girl back what what do we have uh oh uh oh uh oh oh, oh, oh. hands up in the air uh what's going on here oh man Police department just told me that Timmy's missing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, we're gonna have to do a search party for Timmy.